knew this cast had sense. I knew this cast had sense. I knew they were a very astute, astute, astute group of individuals. Just they're using their brains. The voting, they're using their brains. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie. For those who don't know me, baby, I'm excited. Baby, I am excited. Okay. Oh, before I get into it, please make sure to like this video. Subscribe. That's how it goes, right? I literally do this every day. Why am I blinking? Yeah, I know the drill. Okay, so we gotta start with the boring stuff, all right? The final dates. We have Tasha and Andrew, cannot lie. The view was amazing. I know I said before, typically the way that the voting goes is how the, um, the dates are allocated and the, the cheaper looking dates go to the least favorite couples. However, they pulled it out the bag for most of the couples this time around. I feel like the only date that I was just kind of like, eh, was um, Adam and Paige. But this, the roses, the, oh. That's actually insane. Yeah, stop it. We both had to do our own journeys to come back together and yeah, I honestly would not change it for the world. But I see myself wearing you. Yeah, I, obviously I can. In a year's time, a that's year. what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're going to be waiting a bit longer than a year, I think. <laughs> so basically, they talk about wanting a future together. Tasha, Tasha's really excited, okay? If memory serves me, this is the first person she's ever been in love with. Don't think it's her first relationship, but, you know, her first in love experience. So, you know, she wanted to be married in three years. She's bumped that up to one. Highly unlikely, just knowing how relationships tend to go, especially if you go from somebody who had no notoriety to an immense amount of notoriety. There's gonna be a lot, a lot to navigate, right? I will say the best thing to happen to Tasha and Andrew's storyline was them becoming official. Because our biggest issue, I don't know about you, but my biggest issue with Tasha was the wishy-washiness. If you're still wishy-washy in a relationship, girl, you belong to the streets, okay? So the fact that she was in a relationship, now she can't really be looking at other people. She's solely focused on one person. She even found more confidence being in a relationship with Andrew. We didn't see her crying as much. That was the best thing that could happen for her. The next date was with Gemma and Luca. Uh, Gemma, the girl, every time she dresses up for a date, whether it's with somebody that she likes or she doesn't, she just, is, is, she's stunning. I, I don't, like, I don't have words. Like, she's actually just beautiful. Anyways, the date was, yeah, the date was kind of like, eh, but like, you know. I was gonna get that guy's number for India. <laughs> I'm um, looking forward to you like coming out here and just being us too. And your family, like, I'm excited to see them. We obviously we do bicker a lot. Bicker? We wind each other up. We, we wind each other yeah. up, but we both love it. Yeah. I don't know, you're more than just like a partner. Do you genuinely think I've found best mate in here? Of course, Luca's throwing out there, you know, I'm excited to meet your family. <laughs> and at this point it's a joke. But um I really hope that they do accept him because man, that'll probably be the biggest heartbreak to come out of Love Island. He will be in more tears than when he was when Jax left the villa. If his fam, if her family doesn't accept him, somebody send in the Calvary because he's not gonna be okay, <laughs> okay? I did like, however, how when Gemma was relaying how the date was, she was really excited and giddy. And I'm like, I like this Gemma. Her always being stone cold and stoic and serious. It's kind of like, do you have joy? in life she was joyful today and it was like a strip of like water with like a floating table flowers and petals like all in the water oh, wow. okay so after the dates happen uh you know everybody's chilling getting ready for the night and they get a text that each couple has to vote for their bottom two and the bottom two means the least compatible so i don't know if people are using strategy in like these are the people that I don't want to have to fight against in the end, or if they genuinely thought these were the least compatible people. But we're going to go through each talking point that the couples had for the other couples. Luca's critique was that he got latched onto Gemma too quickly, and the rifts that they have in their relationship are mostly due to him. They are not 100% genuine. From Luca, there was 
more and more interest and from Gemma, mm. less. Yes. This is this is just how I see it. If you can't handle the pressures of Love Island, you damn sure can't handle the pressures outside the villa. And even though, yes, Love Island, there's these challenges that you won't be doing on a day-to-day -day basis, there's a whole host of other issues that come into play. There's the person's personal life, there's the family life, there's now you're somewhat of a celebrity, there's scheduling and all, like if you cannot handle it in Love Island, I feel like you're gonna have a harder time in the real world. So with Luca's jealousy to lighten the mood, because I know y'all don't like the word possessive, so we're just gonna use jealous for now. I don't know how many of you guys knew Gemma Owens before, but a lot of people definitely know her now. So yeah. The critique for Davide and Ekinsu was that Davide is the best option provided out of everybody who did come into the villa, and also that their arguments inside the villa are going to be worse, worse outside the villa. He's not, he's not a hundred percent for. I think it's mm. just the most he's suited and the most compatible yeah. out of the people in here. Yeah. I agree with both both critiques. I feel like. You know, Casa Amor wasn't really catered to Ek and Sue, and the two real options that she had were Davide and Jay, right? And so, like, oh, my mom, I have to call you later. I'm sorry. It's, we're talking about Love Island right now. Um, so I'm here like, uh, it, mm, it. she doesn't have to be tested. Testing is not something that's necessary, right? But you know you've now become a face that people recognize you're going to encounter more people who are at your caliber if not higher maybe it was a settling situation i don't know also i have been saying that this is a very volatile relationship like it has high highs and low lows yeah the next critique for tasha and andrew was that uh they're putting on a front the boyfriend thing happened it was like, I love you in bed, and then straight up. It's just all a bit very rushed for me. She asked him to be your boyfriend. Like, things change, do you know what I mean? I do feel like it was very convenient, the timing that they became official. It was also convenient, I don't I, I don't know, this, the timing was off, that they were the first couple when they were like the most tumultuous couple at the same time. So I can see why people are like, mm, not quite sure about this one. Like I said, though, the best thing to happen to their storyline was them becoming official. So I do think that if they make it to the final, they do have a good chance. That's all I got. The critique for Adam and Paige is that they haven't had enough time. And for Ekansu, she does not forget who Adam is. You need to remember, baby, yeah. is that Adam... Is he gonna go to his old ways? We all have a sneaking suspicion that when push comes to shove, this guy's gonna revert back to the, his old ways. We think it's very strategic that he came in here. Maybe he came in to save the damsel. And you know, the whole like Gregory storyline, he came in and was like the knight in shining armor and then went to win the whole thing. I think they're trying to do that same thing for Paige. Yeah, I, I don't think people are going to vote for them to win. I do think that maybe if they're up against like a Tasha and an Andrew, they could be higher than them. But the likelihood of them women winning, hell no. And then last but not least was damn in India, damn near nothing was said. There's nothing I can really fault about. Yeah, I can't fault about the boyfriend girlfriend. I think it just confirmed even more. I can't really say any bad words against no. them. Yeah. Um, both. Yeah, we call um, our favoritism of this one. At the same time, I just I just think it works, isn't it? Listen, these people have sense. These people have sense. If we're, if we're talking about chemistry, Dami and India have the strongest chemistry, absolutely. Will they get the votes? We already know the reality of that. Likely, no. I will it. I hope for it. I want it. I just know the reality of things. However, the voting amongst the Islanders was um, Tasha and Andrew voted, Ekansu and Davide and Paige and Adam in the bottom. Uh, Paige and Adam voted for Gemma and Luca and Ekansu and Davide at the bottom. Uh, Luca and Gemma voted for Tasha and Andrew and Ekansu and Davide at the bottom. Ekansu and Davide voted for Gemma and Luca and Paige and Adam at the bottom. And then Dami and India voted for Luca and Gemma. Didn't see that coming. And Ekansu and Davide in the bottom. Dami and India didn't get any votes, so they are automatically in the final. 
This cast has sense. I love it. Y'all, I know voting's probably over by the time you see this video, but like, flip the vote. I know y'all probably think they're not gonna get the votes, but if you really do rock for a damn India, or at least just for India, this could be the year, guys. Like, police, at least second place. I would love to at least see second place. That's all. If y'all want to vote Exu and Davide for first, fine. If I see Gemma and Luca in the winning, I don't even want to put it out there. No, I'm not even putting it in the atmosphere. Anyways, do the right thing. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.